how did what you see out of Ross tonight compare to the reports that you were getting from uh, some of his later minor league starts? Well, I, obviously he was more efficient in his minor league starts, but you're talking about minor league starts versus major league starts. You're talking about minor league teams and hitters versus the, the Brewers lineup. So uh, I don't think his command was as sharp. Uh, the uh, secondary pitches, there was some inconsistency there. Every hit that the, I think he gave up today was on a fastball. So he wasn't able to get the ball where he wanted enough. Uh, I don't think we are able to get the ball arm side enough and down, especially in the second inning. You know, you, you see balls that aren't, aren't barreled up that find the grass. But when they're elevated, that can happen. When they're down, they turn the ground balls, and then the barrel showed up after that. So uh, optimistic the way he was able to finish um, to give us some length uh, to get through five. Actually pitch with better downhill playing uh, third through fifth inning uh, and show better fastball command. Early in the game it was, and then it dropped off. Uh, it dropped off later. Is that a concern? Um, he didn't feel any discomfort or anything like that. But again, you're talking about that's why it's hard to gauge minor league starts. You got to put them in big league games and, and give them a chance to go. And we'll give them the ball again and see if he can pick it up and, and, and make some uh, some critical improvements and, and work on picking up his rhythm, his tempo a little bit uh, as well. So um, you never know what to expect. We wanted better. He wanted better. You know, it was a bad second inning for us. We threw a ball away to compound some things, um, but I thought there were some things to build on in innings three through five. If he does have the chance to stay in the rotation for the end of the year, he's probably got about six, seven more starts left. What are some of the things specifically you mentioned the arm side command, as well as, as with that, what are some of the things that he needs to focus on in those starts? I think I just covered it. He's got to command the fastball better. We've got to work down in the zone. And we've got to have some secondary pitches to get people off the fastball. Uh, you know, you've seen fastball. Uh, you saw Lincoln pitch game two with a fastball velocity of what, 90, 92, I mean 93. You saw Ross's at 92, 93. You saw Reesop. Location's critical. Um, these guys can hit fastballs. And if you don't have secondary pitches for weapons that you can throw and you're not going to pitch inside, you're not going to to use both sides of the plate and move them around, they're going to swing. And they've been unloading the bat. Uh, big swings. You've got to have uh, other weapons to, to back them off and slow them down a little bit. Is this Brewers lineup as good as any you've seen in the NL this year? Yes. Yes, it is. I mean, the Phillies have a very, a very good lineup. Uh, this lineup uh, is strong. The everyday lineup is very strong. They've got a combination of speed and power. Um, and then they've got some very versatile players on the bench that can pick up and move around as well. So uh, they're playing very good baseball right now. They're confident all over the place. They're confident around the bases. They're confident swinging the bat, pitching. Uh, we have an answer to Strada. 12 innings, two runs. Our left hand hitters were two for 12. We only caught the barrel one time. The left hand hitters, uh, he made pitches where we were able to fight back and, and counter uh, with a whole lot. So we've got work to do. Have you seen progress in terms of uh, in, in terms of Josh Harrison being a more dependable major league player? You know, you, you see the game he played last night at third. He made some some real nice plays at third. Balls carried across the infield. Some at bats. You know, he's got a couple extra base hits since he's been back, but it's a, it's a short window. Seen some improvement. He played hard down there. He got better. He worked on the things we asked him to work on. Uh, he's got to be able to play small ball. He's got to be able to move runners. He's got to be able to get bunts down. Those are all things that are going to make him a more complete major league player. Uh, but he looks like he's playing with a lot of confidence. Have you determined the starter for tomorrow? Yeah, we're going to start Aaron Thompson tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we will option back Pedro Siriaco. We're going to add the pitcher. Okay. Thanks, right. Clint. Thank you.